You've probably seen it. You're in the middle of a game, your FPS looks fine, but the experience feels off. Micro stutters, uneven frame times, random input lag. You check MSI Afterburner or HW Info, and what do you see? Your GPU clock drops randomly for a split second. That's power gating in action. Modern GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD use hidden power gating logic to shut down parts of the GPU between frames. On paper, this saves watts. In reality, it forces the GPU to constantly wake up blocks of silicon mid-game, causing latency spikes. Today, I'll show you five safe, simple steps to tame GPU power gating. These tweaks are easy to apply, fully reversible, and will help you unlock rock-solid GPU frequencies for smoother gaming. Before Step 1, Safety First. Create a System Restore Point, System Properties Protection. Update to the latest NVIDIA or AMD drivers from the official site. Have MSI Afterburner or GPU-Z installed so you can monitor GPU core and memory clocks during testing. Step 1. Disable hidden NVIDIA AMD power states via registry. Windows works in tandem with GPU drivers to manage power states, often enforcing deeper power gating levels even when prefer maximum performance is selected in the control panel settings. While this feature can help with power savings, it can also cause occasional stuttering or performance dips, especially when the GPU is under load. To mitigate this, you can adjust settings at the registry level, which allows you to directly control these power management features. For NVIDIA, press Win plus R to open the Run dialog, then type RegEdit. Navigate to the following registry path. Right-click on the NV Tweak folder and select New DW or D 32-bit value. Name the new DW or D as Disable Dynamic P State. Double-click on the newly created DW or D and set its value to 1. This action disables dynamic downclocking, which means that your GPU will not scale back its clock speeds when under load, preventing intermediate power gating states from kicking in. This ensures the GPU maintains its full performance throughout demanding tasks such as gaming or rendering. For AMD, navigate to Right-click the AMKDMDAG folder and create a new DW or D 32-bit value. Name it PP underscore Disable Power Gating. Set the value of the new DW or D to 1. This setting prevents certain deep sleep power gating states from activating mid-session, which can result in sudden dips in performance during gameplay or heavy applications. After making these adjustments for either NVIDIA or AMD, reboot your system for the changes to take effect. Step 2. Force Prefer Maximum Performance Globally Even after making registry tweaks to disable power states, it's possible that GPU drivers could still override those settings, especially if the drivers are set to adjust power states automatically based on the workload. To ensure consistent performance and prevent the drivers from conflicting with your registry changes, you can manually enforce the Prefer Maximum Performance setting in the GPU control panel. This will help reinforce stability, especially when you're running intensive tasks like gaming or rendering. For NVIDIA, open the NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking on the desktop and selecting NVIDIA control panel. In the left-hand menu, Go to Manage 3D Settings. Under the Global Settings tab, locate the option Power Management Mode. Set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. This ensures that the GPU stays at its highest performance level regardless of the workload, which can prevent it from throttling down during heavy usage, especially after you've disabled power states in the registry. Step 3. Disable PCIe Link State Power Management. Windows. To fix this issue, we can tweak the registry to disable the PCIe link state power management. 
This will prevent the PCIe lanes from entering low power states when the GPU is under load, ensuring smooth and continuous data flow during intensive activities. Step 4. Clean out old GPU shader and cache data. Sometimes stutters aren't just live power gating, they're cache reinitialization. Clearing out GPU cache forces the driver to rebuild clean, non-gated states. Steps to clean GPU cache. Press Win plus R to open the Run dialog. For NVIDIA users, type. For AMD users, type. In the folder that opens, locate and delete the following folders if they exist. DX cache, GL cache, shader cache. Clear Windows DirectX cache. To make sure all possible cache data is cleared, you should also clear the Windows DirectX cache. Press Win plus R, then type Clean MG. The disk cleanup tool will open. Select your C drive, or the drive where your OS is installed, and click OK. In the Disk Cleanup window, check the box for DirectX Shader Cache, and then click Clean Up System Files. This will clear out the DirectX Shader Cache that might be stored in the system, ensuring that no stale or power-optimized shaders are being loaded. Removing these cached files can help prevent the GPU from inadvertently entering power-saving states when the system is trying to optimize performance. Step 5. Verify stability and frame time consistency. Finally, let's confirm power gating is under control. Open MSI Afterburner, or HWINFO64. Play a demanding game at your monitor's refresh rate. Watch your GPU core clock and memory clock. If you've applied everything correctly, clocks should remain consistent under load. No random dips into idle frequencies mid-frame. Frame time graph should look smoother in RTSS, Riva Tuner. Bonus advanced tweak, optional. In Afterburner, set a flat custom curve that keeps GPU voltage and frequency steady. This combines perfectly with the registry tweaks for maximum consistency. And that's it! You've stopped hidden GPU power gating from sabotaging your gaming sessions. Registry tweaks disabled the worst driver level gating. Power settings forced the GPU into stable states. PCIe link states and shader cache were cleaned. Finally, you verified clocks for rock-solid frame times. This isn't about overclocking, it's about stability. With gating disabled, your GPU finally runs at consistent frequency, giving you buttery smooth gameplay with no random stutters. If you found this guide helpful, smash like! Drop a comment with your before versus after GPU clock graphs and subscribe for more hidden windows and driver fixes. Because sometimes smooth gameplay isn't about more power, it's about stopping power from being taken away.